we need to understand when an area is cluttered, especially with like cloth and clothing and things like that, heavy things, um, it catches it and it holds a lot of energies. So today we have a wonderful question from Raquel who is asking, Master, any advice to remove bad energies at home? Listening to you helps a lot. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for the question. And I think this very important topic, especially when it comes at the beginning of this year, um, it's very important to know how to cleanse our energies. Now, I do actually a lot with my own uh, space uh, with regards to cleansing and clearing and all the feng shui positioning and everything. So I actually have probably like three days worth of things to say here, but I'm gonna give you guys a few pointers. You can start off with this, it'll really help, okay? So first of all, um, we should frequently open our windows and doors. Now you want more windows and doors open, like even once a day, I would do it in my house, where you open the windows and doors to let the energy we call in Chinese qi, let the qi flow through. So naturally, when wind blows in, it's a very powerful uh, element that brings new energies in and cleanses old energies out. So that's very important. The second thing is to let plenty of light inside your room. Now, if you guys you know, are used to keep drawing the curtains, curtains closed and things like that, try to bring in more light. Those of you who don't have much light in your, in your house, then uh, fix some lights, add some light fixtures in to make it brighter right? That light will also help cleanse and clear your space. Another practice that many people probably do is sage, saging the house, um, get some sage sticks, or even using Himalayan salts, placing it on any areas where you feel the energy is a little bit um, rough or a little bit negative. And when you do that, you leave it there for a couple of days, and then you take the salt and you offer it back into nature. So that's also a very, very good practice. The final practice I'd like to leave you guys with is to see if you have cleansed and cleared your space in terms of cleaning and decluttered your area. We need to understand when an area is cluttered, especially with like cloth and clothing and things like that, heavy things, um, it catches it and it holds a lot of energies. So when we start donating those things away, giving it away, throwing out you know, things and cleaning the space, it really helps to clear the energies. To invite new energies, the final point, clear space, create space, because that will invite new energies to come in. And if you let a lot of light in and let a lot of new energies in, then uh, yeah, we're gonna start seeing a lot of new things manifest in your life. I think that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, or you got anything out of it whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what you'd usually do to uh, cleanse and clear your space. Maybe share that with everyone as well. That'd be nice. And any of the practices that I've shared before, um, you know, if you do any of those, let us know inside the comments also. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, and also hit the subscribe button. Finally, if you have a question, make sure to follow the Instagram channel and you can send me a DM and my team will filter through and choose some questions. Maybe you'll be featured in the next episode. Other than that, blessings for everybody. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.